Hey, what's up everyone? It's Franchise923, and I recently got a Garmin watch. So I just, I, I had a Fitbit, and I, I've heard a lot about Garmin watches, and I, I just saw like a really cheap used one on Facebook Marketplace. So I just decided to grab a Garmin uh, watch and just play around with uh, the data that, that comes from it. So they have an API, and they have these things called Fit Files that we can work with. Um, so eventually we're going to work towards uh, using those Fit Files to make... Um, this is a shape file, an Esri shape file. Um, so let's just jump right in. Um, so I have my Garmin plugged into my computer here, and you see it popped up just like this. It's the Forerunner 35. And inside of here, we have some uh, folders. And what we're interested in is inside activity, we want these fit files. So I'm going to copy these fit files over to a folder. I'm just going to make a new folder here called Garmin Fit and paste those here. And now we can close this because we don't need our, our watch anymore. Um, so what are these files? Uh, so if you take a look at like Notepad and open it up, you'll see it's um, it's basically like binary or something. Like It's not really useful to us. So we need to convert this uh, to something that's human readable. Um, so there's tools out there that Garmin's um, specifically put out to, to let us convert this to like a CSV file. So we just Google Garmin um, API and go click on this activity API. It's kind of a slow loading website so far. There we go. All right. So just scroll down here and you see it says the activity API offers access to fit files. So that's what we, that's what we got from the, the watch. So yeah, we're interested. We want to check out the SDK. So this is what we need to download. So download the fit SDK and it includes programs to encode and decode fit files and back and forth to CSV. All right. So that's what we want. So let's download this. I don't know why this website is so slow this morning. All right, there we go. So now this popped up and just accept and download. So somewhere, I know we're gonna have to download Java in order to get this to work. I'm just trying to find out where I saw that so I can show you guys, so you can believe me. I don't know. So if you look at what got downloaded here, we have this um, basically the zip folder. So I'm just going to cut this. And I'm going to bring it over to the same folder where we have our fit files. And now I'm just going to extract it. And like basically inside this folder is all the, the programs that we need to run. And they're based on Java, so we have to download Java. Here we go, this fit CSV tool. So this is what we're gonna use. Use it on Windows, here we go. So to use fit csv.tool.jar on Windows, the Java runtime is required. Okay, it's no big deal. Okay, so it downloaded, so we're in here, and inside Java, these are all the tools. So these are basically the tools that can convert it to, that can decode it to a CSV. And they actually have um, batch scripts that you can use, so you don't even need to use the, you don't even have to like type this in the command line, you can just use that bat file. Um, so let me see if I can find that. Here we go, this drag and drop. An easier way to use the fit CSV tool is to use one of the five batch files. So this is what we want to fit to csv.bat. So basically you can just drag your um, fit file on top of that um, 
I'm trying to find where I put these things. You can just drag your fit file right on top of this file. But you'll notice if we try to do this, we're getting an error because it says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command. That's just because we don't have Java installed. So if you just Google Java and just click download right there, uh, this is all we need. And just click that. And a, a quick way to check if you have Java, just type Java in the command line. And if it doesn't show up, then you likely don't have it installed or you, you have it installed. It's not on your path, but most likely you just don't have it installed. So just run this and just click install. And we're not going to have to do anything with Java. This is just so these programs can run. All right, so it finished. So now if I open the command line and type Java, we get something back. So Java dash version, we get all this back. So now we're pretty confident that this drag and drop is going to work. So let's try it again. So again, I'm in the Fitbit thing that I downloaded inside Java. And now I have <clears throat> my fit files here. And I'm just going to pick one randomly and drag it to the fit to CSV bat file. And it, it worked. So it says um, the, the fit binary file decoded it to, and it basically, it puts it wherever your original fit file is. It, it just, that's where it puts the CSV. So now we have a CSV file. So if we take a look at this, this is where all the good stuff is. So now we have stuff that we can understand. And this is this is awesome. So this is kind of what I was uh, wanted to show you guys in this video, how we can work with this. Um, and you can see here, this looks like all of our position data, right? So in the next video, I'm going to use Python to kind of clean this up and basically just get a list of latitude and longitude. And once we do that, we can use that list of latitude and longitude to convert it to a shape file like this, uh, or we can do like a KMZ file for Google Earth. Um, there's all kinds of stuff, but first we need to use Python to clean this up. Um, and just basically what we're going to do is we're going to kind of disregard all this stuff because you kind of have to take a look at this and basically think about what we're interested in. This is kind of all random, not random, but information we're not interested in. It seems like this data seven, whatever seven means, this is the type of data we're interested in because it has position lat, position long. Um, and another interesting thing, I was working with this, the latitude longitude, it's, it's not, it's in a different format. So it's not in decimal degrees. It's in this thing called semicircles. So we're going to have to convert these values to decimal degrees. Um, yeah, so if hope this this was uh, helpful so far and if you're interested stick around and we're going to use a little bit of Python to uh, manipulate this uh, CSV file. All right, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if uh, if you liked it. Thanks.